All right, so in the last few weeks, there's been a lot of developments in the school shooting case in Parkland, Florida. The trial's over. It was over in 2022. He was sentenced to life, and this kid, Nicholas Cruz, well, it's he technically doesn't own his name anymore. Uh, one of the victims who was injured that day, the worst, worst, most seriously injured victim, was shot five times with that AR-15 style rifle, and yeah, he survived. And his name is Anthony Burgess, and he is doing well. I'd like to say, most likely has mental scars, and I uh, hope for the best for him. And uh, well, Nicholas Cruz agreed to actually give his brain to science upon death. And so they can like study it. They did that with Stephen Paddock when he, but he shot himself. But they did that with his, what was left of his brain. It was mostly intact. So they they took his brain out, cremated him, gave it to his brother. You know. So anyway, that's all. And the Parkland School building, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, where the shooting took place, has been demolished. It took them six years, and the. They kept it so that the jurors can actually go into the school and witness all the blood and brains and shit, nasty shit that's there. And uh, I've heard it was terrible. I bet. Well, rest in peace, those victims. I'll, I mean, I have multiple videos on this. You all already know this. If you want the whole shooting, I may do a deep dive or I've already done multiple videos on this kid. I don't know how this will affect my videos, but uh, hopefully it doesn't. But I, I'm glad that this kid, every time he wants to do an interview, he has to ask the victim, which is good. So if they want to make any documentaries about Nicholas Cruz and uh, anything like that, they have to ask, or he, Nicholas Cruz, shut up, plane. Sorry about that. Anyway, he will have to ask the victim, Anthony Borges, if he can do it. Anyway, I'm going to do short videos explaining the whole case, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace.